So, hello Facebook, how is everybody today? Welcome to Facebook, welcome to YouTube. I'm just adjusting my phone. Um, apologies for my curlers, I must take them out actually. I was doing a piece this morning, on this morning, um, and oh dear, I was doing it here in my bedroom actually, it was all about sleep, which is very timely because I'm going to be doing a whole thing on sleep here on my Instagram and Facebook on Wednesday. So yeah, lots to chat about that because there's just so many helpful things. You know, all the studies are saying at the moment that people are not sleeping so well, there's disrupted sleep patterns, stress, anxiety, all of that. So uh, anyway, I was able to talk a little bit about it on this morning. As always, there's never enough time, is there? Um, but I was back with my old friend, Eamon, Eamon and Ruth. Eamon and I go way back to our GMTV days. And do you know, I was reminded chatting to him, he is still one of very, very few people in the world who calls me Elizabeth. Yeah, if you watch it on catch up, say Elizabeth, what are you doing still in bed? He was saying with your curlers in. Uh, anyway, that was all a bit of fun, but my hair is now not looking so great, but I'm not so worried because we're going to have the maestro in the house to help us with all things hair, because you may remember if you were uh, following me and part of this community in our first lockdown, gosh, last summer, or before, last spring actually, wow, it's nearly a year, isn't it, terrifying. Um, and of course, one of the things that really suffered and everyone was talking about was root regrowth and not being able to get to the hairdresser for months at a time and what to do and all sorts of horror stories happening with home hair dye. So I did an Instagram live with Josh Wood, who is like the home colouring guru, just genius, just so many things. And I've got just a few of them here that we're going to be talking about. So everything from covering up greys to using home tint to bleach to, you know, help for highlights and you know, all sorts. It's going to be a really good, um, a really good addition. I'm just going to move you, Facebook, up slightly just because I think this stand I think I might have to invest in a better stand actually I hope that's all right for you guys let me know as always let me know if it doesn't work because um or let my team know certainly on Facebook you can be quite vocal and actually Lainey um who does a lot of our photography she's also on Instagram today so hi Lainey and Amy is on Facebook uh, those of you who are new watching me for the first time I can see a lot more new followers uh, how it works is I do this live three times a week now. So I do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I am live on Instagram and live on Facebook simultaneously. The wonders of technology, as long as I've chucked the kids off the Wi-Fi and I don't have to share it because otherwise then it all goes a bit peep tong. Uh, and if I split the screen with a guest, like I'm going to be able to do hopefully in a moment with Josh, then you can only see it on Instagram because that's the platform that has the split screen. Facebook, obviously, I can't split the screen, so you will hear Josh, but you won't see him. So I will have to demo everything for you. And of course, what happens after the lives is we then load the live onto YouTube. So a lot of people love watching on YouTube because you can, you know, put it on a big screen or you can, you know, watch it on an app or whatever. Um, it's very easy to, to share links and things on YouTube, isn't it? I think it's a really good platform, actually. And in fact, I've got another, a few more bits going live on YouTube this week. So if you haven't subscribed to the Lizard Wellbeing YouTube channel, please do, because I kicked off last week with the first in my menopause series. And oh my goodness, that is just storming. So I'm going to do a separate little series of six standalone, um, probably only about 10 minute film clips. Uh, but each one really packed with meaty information so you can watch it hopefully in quite digestible forms. I'm going to cover so many comments and questions that I've had recently and of course over the years um, and it's very shareable which means that you can share it with girlfriends which I think is so important. Anyway let us crack on with hair. Uh, lots of questions about hair. I'm actually going to pour myself a nice drink of something before we get started because I have been on the go as you can imagine I mean when I'm on this morning it's always on a Monday morning which is like my busiest time anyway and I'm up early uh, talking to the producers and the gallery setting everything up really early and then kind of waiting and all of that so all of that basically means I don't get a chance to eat anything 
So I'm going to have, I've been sent some more of these lovely things, which I talked about before. They're kefir waters. We talked a bit last week, didn't we, about probiotics. And I love these. They are a teeny, teeny little bit of alcohol, but it is, is it over? I'm looking at the clock in the courtyard. Yeah, it's, the sun is over uh, the midday. It's 20 to 1. So hopefully this will be all right um, and uh, won't get me giggling too much. No, it's tiny. It's tiny, tiny trays. It's like kind of gripe water. Um, anyway, so I do love this. This is a, I think this might be a new flavour that they've got, passion fruit and raspberry. It's going to tip it upside down and it's um i think you just pull the lid off whoa typical should i have tipped it upside down instagram i don't think you saw that but facebook you did didn't you because it was right over the side here but i did use my tea towel but actually do you know i love it when bottles are super fizzy like that because it shows they're active you know it shows that the probiotics all these little good gut bugs that we need you know, haven't just disappeared. Anyway, I think, because I have reminded myself that there is a trace of alcohol in that, I think I'm going to start with a glass of water to start with. But isn't that just such a pretty colour? And they have given us 10% off with Liz Loves, so you can get cases of this. Lovely summer drink, actually, the, the pink one, I think it would look pretty in a wine glass, don't you, instead of a glass of rosé. Um, or this one is rather lovely too. This is elderflower. Elderflower kefir water. Brilliant. Lovely. Thank you very much, guys. Mm. Oh, delicious. Happy Monday. Right, let's see if we can get Josh in, shall we? Let's see if... Oh, my goodness, somebody says they shook their microbes. That's that lovely probiotic liquid. Yeah, big mistake. Yeah, don't shake it if it's live. Don't shake it. Same with kefir, you know, the real milk stuff. Don't... Uh... Uh, so the kefir water, for those of you asking, is called Agua de Madre which I think is Mother's Water, Agua de Madre. It's a really cool, lovely brand. It's a female founder-led brand based in London. Um, and I really like them. They are a really nice cooperative. And uh, yeah, so check them out. There'll be a link. Those of you who are new to Instagram, go to my link tree, which is in my bio. You'll see a link to everything. Uh, Facebook, obviously, you know that Amy puts up links for everybody. And if all else fails, go to lizardwellbeing.com. And then you'll see there's a whole section actually up there now called Liz Loves. And you just literally scroll down. It's all in alphabetical. So this one being Agua de Madre should be right at the top. Agua. A for Agua. Right. Let us see. Uh, is Josh here? Josh would colour. Yay. Oh, I'm so looking forward to a hair chat. I am honestly just actually i'm very lucky because lily's been doing my roots hi josh morning how are you or afternoon yeah well my goodness i am well i don't know whether it's morning or afternoon or monday or wednesday or what really <laughs> yeah i'm rather jealous of your water yes do you uh, do you have kefir well, I've, just, I've just got a cup of tea so oh no this is very very slightly alcoholic kefir and it does taste delicious but how, how is your gut health can I be personal? Do you do anything for it? Yeah, I've got, you know, I use the, uh, the cafe and milk products. Do you? And drinking yogurts and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I think it's just such a good thing and it's so easy just to add something in like that, isn't it? You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. Breakfast time. I glug one back. Yeah. Dead easy. Dead easy. Now, something else that we're going to be talking about today that is hopefully dead easy is a bit of home hair colour because you were such a hit when we got together in the first lockdown to talk about um, covering up roots and greys and just so helpful. Um, one of the things that I wanted to really talk to you about, I guess, from a personal point of view, is I have highlights in my hair um, and I do get, you know, round the front here, I do get you know, the grey's coming through, and I try and disguise it with a little bit of bleach, but, it, you know, it can go a bit orange. I've got to be a bit careful. What can I do? Because I'm obviously not using a tint. I'm using bleach. Yeah. I mean, there's, I really do believe a product like bleach is very, very difficult to use at home. Mm. Um, and, and, and quite often, Liz, uh, bleach products, it's not necessarily the, like the stuff that's in the bowl. It's how the hairdresser applies it to the right. hair, you know, with tin foil or balayage or it takes a lot of skill to be able to blend in hair color especially bleach yeah. yeah so in theory your 
challenge that you have. Um, so a little bit of a bleached highlight. You've got your own base color, so you're not you're not mm. you know there's no there's no overall color on your hair, but there's the odd fleck of grey coming through. A little um, bit more than the odd, but yeah. <laughs> um, that really is about blending in the grey without getting rid of your highlights. Because yes. if you put an all over colour, a permanent colour on your uh, all over your hair, I think that would make you pretty miserable because you're used to seeing highs and lows. Yeah, I like all the different little, you know, fleckly bits, you know, the yeah. different colours that come through. Yeah, there's a bit of grey, but there's a bit of kind of light and dark and it's you know, it's a bit of yeah. movement, a bit of texture there with the colour. Yeah, I, I mean, there are two ways, really, to tackle your problem uh, specifically. I developed this thing called a, a, a blending brush. I have this here. Uh, a blending brush. Okay, now I have never tried this before, Josh, so you're going to have to talk me through it. What do I do with this? So, basically, this is a semi-permanent colour, so not it washes out. Okay. And it will stain the grey hair. Ooh, like that um, idea. And the reason that I like a wet to dry product, so you, you have to put this in and then dry it in with a hair dryer. Okay. Is because I tend to find a lot of the more powdered or some of the sprays, they end up a bit like, you know, they're on your shoulder. You know, they yeah, you can ears, see them. They don't stick to the hair. Um, so this is really simple. Best applied on damp hair. Okay, so I, I'd wash my hair. Wash it, and condition it, and just like I'm about to dry it. Yeah, you've done a towel dry. Towel dry, okay. And then this has got a little pressy thing at the yeah. end. So, oh yeah, I can see that. So that is coming through. Yeah. That's what that looks like. So this one that you've sent me, this says darker blonde. So that's yeah. kind of what I am, I guess, kind of like a dirty blonde. So yeah, I would so use that on damp hair, well, all the way through here. Yeah, you just start blending, but, you know, like really softly all around your hairline, you just blend away. Um, all the way down to the grey. end or just the top? No, because if you go down to the end, you'll mask over your highlight. Got you. So, in Got you. theory, what this would give you yeah. would be the, the look that, the, you know, the look that is quite fashionable where you've got a slightly darker root and a lighter end. Yeah. To try, you, there's nothing really that I would prescribe to make the roots lighter. Because no. You would need you would need bleach, and as you said, it either goes a bit blotchy or a bit yellow. Yeah. Could I use this little blending brush, like to do my hairline here, because that's yeah. where I notice it. Yeah. All your parting and your hairline. I mean, you know, d during this time where we've all been, you know, um, at home or working from home. Um, you know, lots of people are saying that, you know, when they tie their hair back or on a, on a Zoom yeah. meeting, this is the bit that you see, you know, yeah, here, say, don't isn't put it? your it's head down. Bit. Yeah, don't put your head down. I've sit like this all the time yeah. at Zoom. <laughs> the minute you do that, it's like, oh, everyone can see. <laughs> so the blending brush will do exactly that. It will blend out some grey, but it won't get rid of all the grey. And no. that can be quite an advantage, really. Um, if you are not wanting full coverage or, you know, you're not 50% grey or more, that will blend enough of the grey away that means you don't notice it, but it'll still keep a little bit of grey there so it doesn't right. feel blocky and heavy. Yeah, and it looks like very artificial, doesn't it? Otherwise, yeah. um, and can you get this in lots of different colours? So is it not just for blondes? No, there's, I mean, there's, there's, there's uh, three shades. There's a red. There's a, there's two for br uh, brunettes. Oh, and nice. There, and there's a blonde. So there's a dark brown and a medium brown. Okay, and then it washes out literally. So it washes out. I mean, on some people, nice. it washes out every single time you shampoo your hair. It depends how porous your hair is. It can last a couple of, uh, you know, two or three shampoos. Nice. But in theory, the lighter one washes out a little bit quicker than the darker ones because I, there's, le there's less dye stops in there. I am definitely watching it. And I, I can see, actually, I've just got a little eye on the Instagram comments. Lots of great uh, people who've already been using this. And we do have a discount. I should mention that, actually, shouldn't we? We do have... Um, do we have a Liz Loves? Yeah, 20% yeah. off. Wow, until the end of March. Thank you. Fabulous. So there you go. <laughs> Even better. Now, I've got some other things here. This is something that I really like the look of. Um, I'm quite a fan of dry shampoo. 
yeah. in between washes when you, you know, you just can't be bothered to do your whole thing, but you just need a bit of zhuzhing up a bit. And this has got a tint in it. Oh, yeah, ah, I mean, I've I give been, it a shake. I'm, I'm reformulating this product at the moment because what's become evident, I mean, you know what it's like, Liz, on, on, with, with digital um, platforms. You learn so much about what people really want and yeah. need. I mean, it's, you know, I love formulating product, but it's no good formulating product if nobody has a real desire for it. So mm. I'm reformulating uh, that particular product because what people were telling me, they loved the colour yeah. and, and the way that it blended roots in, but they didn't need a dry shampoo all the time. Got you. So, you know, like if, if you had, if you'd washed your hair and you've got dark roots, Actually, you didn't really need a dry shampoo, so I'm reformulating that into a lighter product, an airbrush product. Oh, nice. We'll look out for that one. Colors, one in champagne blonde that um, is a little more goldeny, and then there'll be a paler one uh, coming in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a couple of months. But, yeah, those, those products that are really quick to use and can fix a problem... Yeah. You know, in a nanosecond. There's yeah. another, little, another little thing I've got, which is called a root marker. Okay. Again, you know, exactly for the you know the, the challenge that you say you find on the hairline. Ooh. It's like a little crayon. Oh, it does. It looks like it looks like a big like a little kind of chubby lip lip pencil. Yeah. And mm. it really is even on the go. You can just really blend out. Just smudge it. In. Do you know, I, I think guys would like that too because yeah. I think you know a lot of guys. You know, they either. I mean, a lot of guys actually, as you know, go to the hairdressers to get you know greys covered. Um, and, you know, I think with lockdown, giving everybody a few more grey hairs, just wanting to do something that just smudges in. Yeah, and, this, and that, you know, I mean, it, people have even been layering. So you'd start with this, the brush. Start with this in, one. And then a little bit of a, a root marker. Also in the mm. root marker packet, there's a little uh, brush that you can actually do brows. <gasps> oh, oh, eyebrows, this yes. Is brilliant. For really just blending hairlines. Yes. Excellent. You know, it's like I've a little mascara do, brush. Yeah. Ooh. What I've tried to do with these products, Liz, is um, make them really, really easy to use because the truth is hair colour can be really challenging for people. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. And, you know, a lot of people tell us that they're, they're terrified that they're going to do something that either will make them look not the way they want to look or is very difficult for their hairdresser to rectify. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. a lot of, uh, you know, over the years, I've, I've, you know, especially things like working on, on fashion shows or working on photo shoots, you've got to do things very quickly, very precisely. Yeah. Um, and it's really been able to uh, give me the knowledge coupled with what our community are telling us mm. that their challenges are and that they want to develop... Uh, um, you know, you know this this kind of system of colouring your hair, um, whereby it's a it's foolproof. You can't really go wrong. I mean, the biggest mistake want, that most it? people make um, when when dealing with permanent hair colour is going too dark. They choose a colour that's darker than the desired right. result. Most people think they're much darker than they really are. Right. Interesting. Really interesting. Well, what, what I love about your website, actually, if anybody hasn't been onto it yet, do have a look at, at Joshua Colour because it's really, you kind of rejig the whole thing, didn't you, for lockdown? So you can yeah. have online consultations, you can, you know, show a photograph of your hair to get it absolutely right. And your amazing team of hairdressers, obviously not working in salons, are now all working online, which is phenomenal. Really amazing. Yeah, yeah it's, um, I mean, it's been a real... A real learn, but being able to activate the online consultation has been, yeah. and it's really been overwhelming because a lot of people are really lost, yeah. lost without their hairdressers being open. Or yeah. it's also, it's also, Liz, made, made me really um, consider people that are colouring their hair, you know, mm. uh, that aren't using a, they're not using a hairdressing salon, you know, they're colouring their hair at home continually. Yeah. Just about giving them expert advice. Yeah, and make it better. And and, Really mm. helping them unlock, uh, you know, the best colour for their skin tone and, and, and eye colour. Because it can make such a difference, can't it? You know, I mean, I know there's lots of chat going on social media all over about, you know, embracing the grey and all of that. But I just don't feel ready to do that. 
I just don't want to. I'm going blonder. My, my kind of antidote, I used to be darker than I am now, but I'm just gradually over the years going a bit blonder in the hope that my kind of greys will merge in with a bit of icy blonde. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what a lot of people do. They go lighter uh, to help to um, lessen the root regrowth problem. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and there are some people that are naturally very dark brunette and want to stay dark brunette, but it just means that maintenance yeah. is higher. One of the major concerns that um, I've heard over the years is, you know, that continually colouring your hair using a permanent colour kit uh, dries or, or destroys or damages your hair. Mm. Uh, condition is a is a massive concern for people yeah. when, when they're colouring, especially at home because. I think people feel quite isolated and that there isn't the ability to discuss this. Um, yeah. So uh, in our permanent colour kits, um, that you know, they are, that's, that's this one. Yes, now we talked about this. Is this the, the miracle shot? Because I've got all sorts of hi things yeah. here. So Let I've really broken down how one thinks about permanent hair. I, okay. I like to think about it more in a, uh, the way that we mix colours in salon. Right. So we never just pull one box off the shelf and squeeze it in. And it's always, it's nuanced always for, um, you know, to be able to either uh, counteract unwanted terms. So like you say, yellow or orangey. Yeah, terms. I don't want to be orange. And, yeah. and also to be able to really... Um, you know, really personalise the colour. So basically, I, I broke it down to exactly how we deal with it in the salon. There's a permanent colour kit yep. that covers grey hair 100%. Then right. there's this little thing called a shade shot. Shade shot, yeah, I've got one of here. I've got an icy blonde, no, semi-permanent. Oh, that's, that's different, that's sorry. The that's, that's the gloss. gloss. Okay, we got, is this shade shot plus? Yes. This little one. So it's this little, it's this little one. Snap. Yeah, yeah. So basically... Cover grey hair 100% and add your own personalised tone ah. into this. So this product will work on your natural highs and lows. So all nice. those two colours are never the same. Yeah, so, so it's not just a block of colour. Like some people look like they're wearing a helmet, yeah, don't yeah. they? Not no helmet head or Lego hair, Lego wig, <laughs> wig glass. You know, there's so, many, there's so much kind of slang terminology for yeah. hair colour that look, doesn't look particularly natural. Yeah. So yes, cover grey hair 100%, add personalised tone, and then mm. the biggest challenge was to really think about how we could really infuse deep uh, conditioners and actives into the hair. So there's this right. little thing called the Miracle Shot. Miracle Shot, I've got it here, I think it's great. Together. So all you add it, you things. add it, it's like mixing a cake, isn't it? You're just putting yeah. all these ingredients in to make your hair go, woo. Yeah. <laughs> And the reason that you can't, the reason that I don't believe just like grabbing one thing and well, it's fine if, if you want a fairly standardised hair colour with, mm. you know, with no natural highs and lows. But, you know, doing it this way in the way that we would consider these steps, I guess, when we're colouring hair in salon, covering grey, yeah. personalised tone and deep conditioning. Um, I mean, I'm very proud of this little this little fella because it's mm. um, it's the it's the only product like this in the retail market. I mean, we wow. we have things like this in salon, but basically, you tip that into your um, permanent hair color with your shade shot, and the way that permanent hair color works, the technology is you you create a very high alkaline. Um, component within the hair to open the cuticle layers of the hair up to allow the colour to flow in. Mm. While the colour's flowing in and getting trapped inside, we're trapping deep conditioners in there as well. Nice. So I'm, I'm, so, I'm just going to have a little go because I've got some of your your kit here. I mean, you can get all these, you know, like semi-professional, you know, mixing bowls and the really lovely long brush and the hair clips and all of that, you know, for sectioning your hair. I mean, it's really, you make it so easy. So if I was going to use this, um, just as a little demo here, so I've got my colour, so that's yeah. the colour that I would have gone for. This is a light to mid blonde, it's number eight. Yeah. So I would put this in the bowl, yeah? Into the bowl. Okay, pierce the end of it. Just may as well do a live, a live demo. So does all of that go in? All, all in. 
in, everything in. All in, okay. And then there's a little bottle with B written on it, which is the activator. Great. So if anybody wants to do this at home, you go onto your website, joshwoodcolour.com, yeah. and then you can look at all the different shade varieties. You can get an online professional help, can't you, from one of your team? Yeah. Okay, so I've got that. That's all gone in there. Yeah. And then this is this says B on it. Okay, so so it's quite obvious, isn't it? You've got A and B. <laughs> Hopefully, even I can't get that wrong. Screw the lid off, Liz. It's easier to get it out. Okay. Yeah, got it. And then do I tip all of that in here? All in. All in. Okay. Easy. Great. Yeah. So no measuring, no worrying all about. All pre-measured. Excellent. Okay. So now what? Shot goes in. Now my shade shot. It's like making a cake. I love it. So I've got my shade shot here. Icy blonde. Icy blonde. So the icy blonde would mean that you get a really clean, clear, crisp blonde. No unwanted yellow or um, orange overtones. Excellent. So that would be me. And then your little miracle shot goes in. Gosh. Amazing. Then this little guy. So this is the conditioning, the deep conditioning yeah. that's penetrating the cuticle of the hair. Yeah? yeah. Okay. That's going into my little mixture. And you it's mix like it alchemy, up. isn't it? Just all these different things. Mix it up. Can I use the brush to mix it up or yeah. do you use the end? Just no, use the brush. Use the brush. Fine. Whoops. And then you're ready to go. Really? And you've then... then got, you've got a permanent hair colour yeah. that will cover 100% grey, add personalised tones and deep conditioning. Amazing. The most important thing though, Liz, if you are using permanent hair colour, is okay. to do an allergy alert test 48 hours before you're going to colour. So how would People we do it, that? So talk us through how to do that. You, you, you need a little bit of the permanent hair colour mixed up, put it behind, it's, it's actually all on the website okay. and it's on the packaging. Just put it yeah, behind you put here. It behind you, yeah. Right, and just leave but, that on. You know, people call it a skin test, a uh, patch test, but the allergy alert test is super important Right. if, you, if you're using permanent hair colour. Right. And it has to be done 48 hours 48 before hours. you colour. Yeah. Okay, so how do you do that then? Do you just pull out a little bit of each to do your patch yes. test? You Time just take drop. a little bit, okay, and then... And that's why everything, uh, you know... You only need to do it with the permanent hair colour and the activator, but that's why everything's got screw, it, screw it, It's all resealable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Fine. That's but a really good point. You, Thank got, you. When you. You know, when you've got your, your personalised colour um, and deep conditioning inside the permanent hair colour, it's then about application. Okay. So there's, you know, we've got YouTube uh, videos. There are tips and tricks on the site. Um, but, yeah, I mean... If, if it was you using this colour, uh, you would probably be greyer than you are now, but you still might want highlights. Yeah. But you'd, you'd be wanting to cover your grey hair. Could I use so that then just around here, or would I have to use it use all it over? You could use it just on your hairline. You could dot little bits on. Could I? Just blend in. Oh, I'm quite tempted to do that. <laughs> I'm actually going to put... Do you put it on dry hair? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, I know but that I... Liz, only stick to the root. Only stick to the root? Yeah, because you don't want to get rid of any highlights. So just... Ah, OK. Like got little, you. Got you, you know got like you. You know when you're doing eyelid, you're feathering. It's that kind of technique. OK. So just literally on the roots yeah, here? that's it. Just like that. Oh, OK. And how long does that stay on for? That stays on for half an hour. Half an hour, okay, till the end of my live. Okay, so that's just like a little test. So I can leave that. I'm going to clip that back. And I'll wash it out later and I'll see what I think. Yeah. I, I mean, do, that's... Do the yeah, whole lot then. And, there are tips and tricks of how to use the colour. Most people that are opting for a permanent colour is because they're quite grey and they just want to get rid of it. They don't want to see one grey hair. Mm. Uh, but there are, there are ways that you can, you know, like you, you're feathering the hairline. Yeah, just popping it through here. So a couple of questions here. People are just saying, you know, it's going to go to waste. But no, you can use just little bits. As Josh said earlier, everything is resealable. So everything's got a lid that you can put Once it back it's on. Mixed, 
once, once it's, it's mixed, mixed, obviously, but yeah, it, yeah, but but you, it's you, gone. you okay, yeah. so but, but if you haven't mixed it, you could just use a quarter, couldn't you? You could just use yeah. a proportion of it, absolutely, and yeah, then, and then you've got four lots, or you could use a sixth yeah. of it and have you know six lots or however much you want to make. So as long as yeah. you're not mixing it, then you can keep it, totally. Now, tell me about this little thing because this. Um, this obviously is not permanent. This is a root smudger. Yeah, they, Another they, one. At the moment, we haven't got those. They, you haven't got, got those? Okay, well, I won't talk it's about that then. exactly the same product that's in the blending brush. Okay. But there, was a different, there was a different applicator. But to be honest with you, people love the brush, so... Yeah, I, I mean, that is not... That looks like a little bit like a shoe cleaner. Um, yeah. Sorry to be rude. That's gone. Isn't that awful? Oh, it's the gone, has it? Oh, that's there. right. But this, that, I love the this. I, lo I love this idea with, of a brush. Yeah. Well, it's just so easy to use. You can't go wrong. No. And, and Liz, the thing that you've got there that I saw, you've got a gloss. I think you've got an icy blonde gloss. I have gloss. got an icy blonde gloss. You're right. Yeah. What do I do so with this? It's perfect for you to give your highlights a little brightening, a little peck up. Ooh. Um, it's a semi-permanent hair colour that washes out... But the formulation, uh, the, the, the carrier, the mass of the product is a deep treatment. So you're adding a little bit of colour and treatment at the same time. What kind so of colour would I be colour. adding? I'm always a bit wary of adding colour. What, what would it do to my hair, this one? Well, let's say you'd add your hair coloured and you were, I don't know, eight weeks, six, eight weeks down the line. You know, mm. you lose the brightness and it can go a bit brassy. Yeah. That would completely brighten up and clean out any yellow. It really Ooh. gives you that kind of zing back, like, like having fresh colour. Nice. So it says here, semi-permanent treatment that adds colour and shine lasts up to six washes for premium, deeply conditioned, glossy hair. Great. So you'd use this, what, like a conditioner? Um, yeah. Massage small amounts evenly onto clean, damp hair. Okay, leave on for 20 minutes or more for a longer lasting effect. Rinse well. Dry and style as usual. Excellent. Well, that's my evening's entertainment sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> because they've been so popular, the glosses. Yeah. Um, again, I think we gloss a lot in salon, but there hasn't really been anything in the, in the mm. retail market for glossing. I've done a whole range of glosses now, so there's... There's red glosses, there are two for blondes, uh, there, are, there are brunette uh, shades, and that's something Fab. that I'm really going to expand that um, almost like the pain palette of glosses because yeah. no commitment, they wash out, they make yeah. it feel amazing. Wow. Um, and Love if that. You're just, if you're seeing just the first couple of greys, it's a yeah. way to kind of you know blend the, the, the grey in a little. Um, but yeah, the, the, the idea that you can get this really premium, mm. hydrated gloss finish. Fab, and hide a few of the greys. So shade shot gloss. How many shades of these do you have? Because obviously I'm there blonde. There are uh, eight. So if you've got dark hair, you've got dark brown, black. You, yeah, well, you there's, know. there's uh, black on its way. There's chestnut. There's uh, a colour called smoky brunette that's... For anybody that tends to find when they colour their hair brown, they go orange or a bit greeny or a right. bit, you know, oxidised. Yeah. Um, and then there are two for blondes and four for reds. Two for blondes and four for reds. Wow. Okay. And if, if people want to know about colours, head to your website, Joshwood yeah. Colour, and check it out, all the different... I mean, I have been on there. The tutorials are excellent. Thank so you. So for everybody, you know, I mean, seriously, hats off, I think... You know, it's going to be great, please, God, you know, when we're all able to go out and back into salons again soon. But to have this meantime and also, you know, for touch ups in between and to be able to play is, is really good news. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, um, you know, after the, the first lockdown and, you know, we've been doing lots of consultations and really trying to be there for people. Um, you know, the numbers of people that were coming and asking questions didn't didn't subside no. after after lockdown. No. It's evident to me that the, the hair colour category is something that's terribly underserved as yeah. far as being able to access advice. You're or so experts. right. You know, you go into the you know the chemist or wherever and there's rows and rows and rows of all this stuff in boxes, but you know, who do you actually talk to about it? You know, who yeah. who, who can you get advice from? 
and your hairdresser is not necessarily going to be willing to sit there and give hours of their time free of charge so that you can do it at home. So I think yeah, what you're I doing is great. Over the years, we've been creating care package. You know, the idea that you know people come to the salon once every three or four weeks or five weeks. Mm. You know, even pre-lockdown was getting more and more scarce. People were time starved. Yeah, um, you want stuff in between. All, and so just mm. being able to, um, you know, develop something and give my clients something that that means if they never want to see a grey hair, they never have to worry about the telltale signs yeah. how fabulous darling it's so good to talk to you and thank you and thank you to your team i know your team have been talking to my team about discounts and things and we're, we're super grateful i think it's liz loves all in capitals that gets you 20 percent off on your website right the way through until the end of march so massive thanks big liz, heart always 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 such a pleasure you are such an inspiration you really oh, are oh bless you honey can't wait to see you in real life yeah me too take care Thank bye you. darling bye. bye oh i always learn so much just feel so grateful to be able to just have these world-class experts in their field no matter what it is beaming into our homes isn't that just so special and having that two-way connection you know whether we're talking about hair color or gut health or microbes or immune system or hrt or lip gloss you know i mean it's just love all the variety it's uh, it's just great mustn't forget to wash this out in about 20 minutes from now <laughs> I have to pop a little picture on my stories later. Right, before we go, just a few notices and answers to questions. Um, oh, yeah, people asking about hair condition. Um, lots that we can do. Obviously, you know, we grow hair, seems obvious, but like growing skin, you know, we need to feed it with good ingredients. So hair loves minerals in particular. Um, but you can also make lots of treatment packs. I'm a real fan of making homemade treatment masks. Um, we've got one, actually, I think. My team have just sent me a message here. Um, it's the Apple Hydrating Mask. I don't know if you've tried it. It's in yearbook one. Got it here. So this is yearbook one, uh, which we have actually sold out of in print, but you can still read it on Readly, which is the app. Um, and this, if you've got this book, it's on page 181 you'll find the hair hydrating mask. And that is, I might make it actually and do a little film and pop it on YouTube so you can um, watch step by step. But it's basically coconut oil with a finely grated apple. Apple contains pectin, which is a really good skin brightener and hair brightener. Apple cider vinegar and a bit of honey. Honey is great on the skin, great on the hair, really hydrating. Um, so yes, I will uh, make a note to uh, make that. And then you can also make an apple exfoliating mask with the, the apple that's left over, so you can do hair and face at the same time. Love a bit of multitasking. Um, if you want to get yearbook one, by the way, and you haven't got the printed copy, I'm really sorry we don't have it. But uh, you can get it on Readly. And Readly is this amazing app. Um, and it's basically started out for magazines. So Liz, our Wellbeing magazine, for example, is on there. Literally every magazine you can think of, you know, from Vogue to Hello to Good Housekeeping to, you know, all the favourites. And you pay a monthly subscription, $7.99 a month, and you can read all of them free all over the world. I mean, it's, it's great. So I know for all my friends who are tuning in globally, um, it's, it's really good. And we'll pop a link up. There's a link, I think, in uh, Instagram. I know, Amy, you can pop a link on, on Facebook. I think if you use our link, you get a free month. I think that's how it works. I know there's a Liz Loves in there somewhere. Um, and yeah, you have to use our link basically to get your free um, free month. And then once you have subscribed, all your reading is free. And as I say, it used to be just magazines, but we, um, we love the people at Readly. I think they're great. They have all the back issues for the magazines going back. I think the last kind of like 10 issues are there. So if you're a new subscriber and you want to see what all the fuss was about, you know, this time last year or the year before, then you can go back and, you know, get all the recipes and read all the features. There's so much there. It's really good value. Um, and we've just put Yearbook One on Readly. I'm not sure if it's the first book 
ever to go on Readly, but we're really super happy about it because it's not in print. So if you want it and you want to, you know, check out all the recipes and, you know, read some of the features that are in the, in the book, then it's a really good way of doing it. So uh, do check that out. I think it is a really good tool. It's something that I discovered at the beginning of lockdown uh, last year as when we couldn't go out and buy magazines, but actually having a bit more time perhaps to sit and, and read and you know whether you want knitting patterns or craft ideas or garden inspiration or home interiors or you know whatever it is. Uh, then I've got a friend who's just, I've just uh, saw on her Instagram that she had some of her pictures of her newly decorated house in one of the interior magazines. And so I'm going to go and check it out on Readly because it's you know, going to save me going out having to find, find the magazine and make sure it's the right issue and then buy it and then come home and all of that. So, and I just want to read that little feature to see, you know, what she's done with her home decor. Anyway, I think it's great. If you want yearbook two, by the way, um, we do have some copies of yearbook two. So that is the follow-up, obviously, year book one, year book two. Uh, and it's a beautiful book. You'll see details of it on my Instagram. Um, I think I popped it in my highlights, actually. But I've got them here at the farm, and I'm signing them and sending them out direct. It's not available in any shop. You don't get it on Amazon, nothing. It's just, just from Liz, our well-being. It's just a special one for us. But I do have them here on the farm, and I'm very happy to uh, package them up and take them to my local post lady and pop them in the post. Right, that is just about it. Just to say, lots of chat also following on from Friday uh, from By Muno. Oh my goodness, lovely. Really love chatting to Lucian, so interesting. And I have renewed my enthusiasm for By Muno. You know, it's one of those things, it's kind of like a Cinderella supplement because you, you take it and I use it in my coffee. I just sprinkle a little sachet in my coffee of this powder, which is GOSS, which all of those in the front of the class who've been paying attention will remember stands for galacto-oligosaccharides. And this is like the food, the fertilizing food for our microbiome. So all those little good gut bugs that we have been, you know, proliferating through drinking things like water kefir and, and like Josh was doing, you know, the milk kefir and the yogurts and kimchi and whatever, or even just eating lots of fruit and veg. This is adding the uh, the goss, which is the, the sort of like fertilizer, if you like, that keeps these bugs thriving and fit and well and healthy. Um, and it's certainly something mm, that I have gone back to and I've been giving it to my family as well. So I have, I must admit, I've kind of slipped off the wagon with that recently um, because I am taking, you know, more and more things. But, you know, I think the things that I'm taking are actually good. I will do a proper list, actually, of everything that I do take because I don't now take kind of general multivitamins, multiminerals, because I try and eat really well. But there are specific things that I find really helpful. So this is in my morning routine, the Bimuno. The cheapest way to get it, by the way, is to buy the box of three because they've already discounted the box of three on their website. And then you add the Liz Loves code and that gets a further discount off. So that is a really good way. It's cheap as well. I think it comes down by nearly 30%, which is a really good deal. It doesn't work on their subscription packs, but if you want to do, you know, a, a block of three, then I think that's really good. Um, this morning, on this morning, I was talking about magnesium. And that's another amazing mineral that's really helping with sleep. And I'm going to be doing a big sleep feature on Wednesday here. So... Do stay tuned to that if you've got comments and questions. I know I put something up on my Instagram this morning about sleep because I was, that's what I was doing on the telly. So it was nice to do a little kind of preview of that. But there's a lot, you know, this morning I only had seven or eight minutes, whereas I have a little bit longer on Wednesday and I can really do a bit more of a deep dive into some of the herbs and the, the sleep routines and that kind of thing that can really help things that I found make a difference. There's also a very good podcast if you want to kind of get your sleep homework in early. You could listen to the podcast that I recorded with Professor Matthew Walker, who's written a great book. It's a paperback book called Why We Sleep. And it's, it's excellent. And it's just so important at the moment because he talks about sleep for our immune system. He talks about sleep making vaccinations more effective. I mean, he wrote this, you know, several years ago. But, you know, he was saying if you're going to go for, you know, your general routine vaccination, he wasn't even talking about anything else. Uh, it's been shown to be, I think, 30% more effective if you have a good night's sleep the night before. So, you know, lots of reasons why we need to be improving our sleep. 
Um, oh gosh, who is this? Uh, this is Shelley on email who says, loving watching Liz on YouTube. Thanks, Shelley. Uh, looking forward to reading the weekly newsletter. Thanks for all you're doing, helping so many women to live their best healthy life. Yeah, definitely. That's what it's all about. I hope you are all subscribed to the newsletter. Lots of you know, obviously, it comes out every Friday. So you've got plenty of time to pop over to Liz, our wellbeing. Um, and uh, get yourself on the list. You've got to be on the list to get it. It's totally free. We don't sell it to anybody or spam you or do anything like that it's just a resource for our little group here uh, louise on instagram uh, this is a nice feedback actually about josh saying use josh's colors throughout lockdown and have never colored my own hair every product is brilliant and i'm 80 percent gray thank you josh that's really good gosh how amazing that you've never colored your hair being 80 percent gray and then you've started using josh wood during lockdown well i hope you've grabbed your liz loves 20% off because you'll be able to restock. Um, excellent. And this is from Olive on YouTube. This was to do with this series I've started on menopause on YouTube. Um, thanks, Liz, for discussing perimenopause. I was ticking several boxes as you listed the symptoms. Now I need to get my GP to listen to me. Yeah, well, I hope that goes well. Don't forget that I've got an e-guide. It's called The Truth About HRT. Some doctors don't even know the truth about HRT, sadly. Um, so if you are going to go and talk to your doctor, it's always better. You know, we have such short amount of time, don't we? I think it's eight minutes on average with a GP. Really important that we know what our symptoms are, how we'd like to be treated, and the evidence that is there to support that. So the more information that we can have, and I know women who've gone in with printouts and all sorts to, you know, to kind of argue their case, which is crazy because this should be common medical knowledge and information, but often it isn't. Um, but that does, you know, give a more successful outcome. And it's just, I love it when I read my comments and, you know, somebody says, you know, thanks to your information or looking at the Menopause Doctor website, which is another great resource, or the Menopause Charity, which is coming soon, or the Balance app, which is a free app. You know, lots of resources now. It's, it's just amazing, actually, how that whole landscape has changed. And, you know, I'm very thankful to be part of that, you know, to be working in that area and have connected with so many literally world-class experts um, to just bring helpful information. So anyway, that is just about it for today. Thank you so much. Uh, lots of chat going on about sleep. Yes, there will be more on sleep on, on Wednesday, so do please stay tuned. Uh, and yes, I will do that hair mask and I will pop that little video up on YouTube as well. I've got lots on YouTube actually going on, so do please head over there if you've got a loose end and a spare moment and you just fancy kind of just having a little bit of downtime, just flick through some of those and let me know what you think. You can leave me a comment always on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. I don't do direct message, I'm afraid, on Instagram because I just get way too overloaded with everything. But I do look at my comments and um, hopefully I'll connect with everybody a little bit later on. There's a new recipe going up live on YouTube. Tomorrow, Tuesday, tends to be our recipe day on YouTube. But I'll be back here live on Wednesday lunchtime for some more well-being chats when we're going to look specifically at sleep. So I hope you have a great start to the week. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for all the hearts. Lovely to be with you. Go and have a look at that Josh Woods website. I'd better go now and um, rinse out my hair. I'll put a picture on Instagram later. Lots of love. Bye.